that look what's happened in a meeting that advanced. And with that, we will watch a meeting that advanced video from a recently concluded for our elections. And if you can remember, kato ako candidate si James kato lang isa at ang previous discussion, he, we will follow him as he participate in the meeting that advanced sa ilang barangay. But before that, I want you all to be guided. So here are your nine questions. Now, can I ask group number one to read the first guide question? What can you say about the SK candidates and members of the English delivery? What body language or other member will choose to use that can be deployed? And can I ask group number two to read the second guide question? What is the other purposes of candidates and speech? That's great. And lastly, can I ask group number three to read the last question? Are you ready now to take the video? Okay, na mo? Hello, yes, no. Yeah, yes. Energy, guys. It's morning. Hello, boy. Hello, my name is Jake Singer, and I'm speaking here in front of you all as an individual. Okay, number two, you will proceed to the station number two, okay, after this. Next one, let's have all number three. Okay, you will proceed to station number three. And for all number four from the groups, please sit down for number three four. Okay. Recognize your members to be on number four. Okay, at the count of that, all number one should proceed to their station number two. Eight, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight. Thank you. 
Morning, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and fellow audiences, welcome to this special event, the meeting day of ISEC. Before we dive in the heart of this morning's proceeding, let us first begin with a brief overview of the general mechanics to ensure a smooth and fair meeting day of ISEC. So for the first part, we will have each part your SD chairman representative to prepare for us a campaign speech on their platforms and their part of this. Now with that, we will have our grand debate will be um, represented by one SD counselor and he or she will do a speech on his or her stand on the issue of full disclosure bill. And after that, we will proceed to the exciting part in where our audiences have the chance to ask questions for our candidates. And after that, we will have one minute posting remarks from our SK chair. So let's begin our meeting the Avance with our first segment, where each party will have the opportunity to introduce themselves and deliver their campaign speeches. Each party will be allotted three minutes to present their vision and mission for their constituents. Now, last party, can I call your representative to in the stage or in the podium to share with us and enlighten us with your aspirations. Can I call on the SK Chairman of the Max Party Go! Okay, if you're good, let's begin your three minute time to deliver your speech about your platforms and your partners. Everyone listen. Let's be respectful in this occasion. Okay, one, two, three, start. Good morning, everyone. We are the SK Pink Partners. Our four advocacy focuses on promoting gender equality, em empowering youth, and fostering inclusivity. In our persuasive element, we emphasize the urgency of this month dismantling gender stereotypes and creating opportunities for all. <coughs> In the informative aspect, we provide data on the current state of youth empowerment and gender equality to keep our audience engaged or entertaining elements include interactive activities and filing stories that showcase the positive impact of our advocacy. Together, these elements, elements create a dynamic and impactful evening the advances that affect human formation and entertainment. Moving on to the second part of our meeting, the advances, we have the grand debate. 
This is a moment for both parties to take their stand on the issue on full disclosure bail or policy. Each party will have two minutes to present their arguments and respond to the question. Now, can I ask the SC Council or the will do the grand debate for CLC partner? Ask for Lance partner. Hey, yo, what's your stand on the full disclosure policy? Okay, take two. What's your stand on full disclosure policy? Good day, everyone. I am a full silent correspondent from the party of Lex, and I am standing and encouraging with the policy of disclosing the bill. Uh, standing as someone who is genuine and uh, with pure intentions to serve our kabataan, a leader must have a uh, pure heart and to lead someone as a, as a model. I have a few things to uh, discuss. It will be honesty, anti-corruption, and awareness. Uh, but first, what is um, uh, disclosure bill policy? So this policy requires 